Get ready to be transported to this groovy realm of nostalgic bliss as we embark on a journey through the classic memories of Game Boy Gaming. It's not just about stress relief, it's like hopping into a retro-powered time machine that reignites your inner child, leaving you with an unparalleled sense of euphoria. Today, my awesome amigos, we're all in for this epic quest together, so without further ado, let's cut the chatter and kickstart this rad adventure. To start this adventure, we need to download an emulator called MGBA. Head over to mgba.io to get this emulator. You'll find the link below in the description box as well. Once you're there, find the download section on the website and grab the version that matches your system hardware. For example, if you're using a 32-bit system, get the simple Windows installer version. For those rocking a 64-bit system like mine, go for the 64-bit installer. Just so you know, most systems nowadays are 64-bit, so you will likely need the 64-bit version. Once the download is done, breeze through the regular installation process and launch the program. Now that we have the emulator installed, we need to make a few tweaks in the settings before we can start playing. Click on Tools at the top and open Settings from the list of options. In here, head to the Interface section and uncheck the Show FPS in the title bar option. This little feature displays the frame rate of your game in the emulator's title bar. You can disable it if you don't need it, but if you enjoy keeping an eye on your FPS while gaming, then definitely keep it checked. Next up, move to the emulation section and check the Enable Rewind option. This one's handy when you want to reverse the time and undo a mistake in the game. Neat, right? Now, let's enhance our experience further. In the Enhancement section, switch the video renderer from Software to OpenGL and set the resolution scale according to your system's performance. If you're rocking a high-end system, go for the resolutions like 4K, if your system can handle it. For me, I have a full HD monitor, so I will just go with 8X, which is 1080p resolution. All right, let's take a look at the controls now. Click on the keyboard section to configure your keyboard keys for the emulator, but only if you plan to play with your keyboard. If you're going to use a gamepad instead, you can skip this step and head over to the controller section. Personally, I'll be using a PS5 DualSense controller with this emulator, lucky me, and I will show you how to configure it. Once you connect the controller to your system, it should appear in the box right here. But if it doesn't, no worries, just hit the refresh button and it should detect the connected controller. It doesn't matter which controller you have, it could be an Xbox controller or anything else, it should show up here. Now that it's there, you can easily configure the controller with the emulator. Try clicking on set all. If that worked for you, cool. If not, just click on one of these white boxes and when they turn blue, press the corresponding button on your gamepad that you want to assign to that specific control. For example, I'll assign the left trigger on my gamepad to the first box right here. All I have to do is to click on the left trigger box then press the left trigger button on my gamepad and it will be assigned. Repeat this for all of the controls according to your liking. The beauty of it is that you can assign any button on your gamepad to any control in the emulator, customizing it to suit your playstyle. After you have assigned all the controls, don't forget to click on the apply button to save the changes. Now that we have set everything up, let's load up a game and see how it performs. To do that, go to File and click on Load ROM. Navigate to the location where your game is stored. Select the game file and click Open and voila, the game should launch. As you can see here, the game is running smoothly and you should see the frame rate displayed on the title bar of the emulator. Anything above 30 FPS should be fine for these kinds of games, so don't worry about it too much. Now, let's press start and see if the controller is working and... Yes, the controller is functioning perfectly fine. 
all the buttons are working as expected and we are ready to dive into this realm of imagination without any interruptions. So let's wrap up this adventure here with big smiles on our faces and enjoy the game. But before you start playing, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this kind of content. I promise to bring you more of this nostalgic goodness, reviving the spirit of your childhood. Until then, take care of yourself and stay tuned. Bye.